A shout out now to DJ Dan Productions for building and producing a holiday home light show on Woolly Road in Wall Township, New Jersey. You can catch it this weekend at 7 p.m. and 8.30 p.m. Your donations will be used to help special needs children. If you have a shout out you'd like to share, go to our website, anotherthing.tv. And now I want to introduce you to the author of this book and what she hopes is a new Christmas tradition in a whole lot of families. Elizabeth Paso is the author of The Reindeer Gift. Congratulations on this, by the way. Uh, tell me what the story is first. How, how do you, give me a synopsis of the story. Well, Santa's reindeer, they've been bored out on the roof. They want to get in on the fun. So they take turns going down the chimney behind Santa and hiding a special reindeer gift. Now, after everyone finds theirs, they go to the interactive website, reindeergift.com, and they click a big red reindeer reveal button, and they get to find out which reindeer came to their house. Now, you said you're getting some pushback because people don't like the fact that the reindeer are coming down on their own? Well, some people are saying that they're going behind Santa's back and they don't like that idea. There's a little controversy there. But Santa knows who's good and who's bad all the time. So do you really think they're pulling a fast one on him or are the reindeer really that magical? People can decide on their own. Yeah, and, and people have to get a life too because as I said to you, that's, that's not the biggest hole in the Santa story. There's other things that they could, they could pin uh, that on. How's it selling? It's doing great. People love this concept. Whenever I go out to the book signings, they just think this is such a fun new thing for their families to do. Yeah, and, and so now exactly what are you supposed to do? So you buy the book, but that's only part of the experience, right? Yes, it's an annual tradition. It's something that the families can do year after year. So you buy the book, maybe you make a tradition of reading it every year, and then every year you go to reindeergift.com, you click that big reindeer reveal button after you find your reindeer gift, and you get to find out which reindeer came to your house every year. You'll get a nameplate emailed to you. The nameplates change every year so you can collect them. And you find out if, what, who the reindeer is from the nameplate, and that's free? Yes. Yeah, completely free. Because you can make money off that if you wanted to. Uh, well, I want this to be fun for families to do, a new tradition. And th it's not the only thing they can get off the website, so they can download other materials as well. I mean, th there's stickers and there's, that's there's, not from the website? There's, a, there's stickers at the store. We have a store. You can get Christmas oh, okay. cards. You can get stickers of your favorite. You can get an autographed portrait from the reindeer. And that's all online? Yes. Okay, that, that's, that's what I was getting yes. to on, on that part. Yeah, I like any tradition, uh, by the way, and I'm sure this comes up a lot. I like any tradition that might be able to push out that creepy elf. Because well, my, my, my son <laughs> is, we had to stop it. We did it last year, and he said, I don't want this man staring at me and, and snitching on me and telling Santa on me. And so we had to get rid of it. This is a little nicer than that. I've been hearing that from a lot of people. There are people love the elf or they hate the elf. It's I, there's no gray period in there. But um, this, the reindeer, they don't tell on anybody. This is perfectly friendly. The reindeer leave a special gift for everyone. They think everyone's deserving. How did you come up with the idea? Well, when my daughter was three, then there was a highly anticipated gift that seemed too special to put under the tree with all the others. So I came up with the idea to hide it. And then rather than say Santa brought that one too, the reindeer aren't doing anything out on the roof. They're just bored up there. So they get in on the action and they hide it and it makes it a, a, an event. Yeah, and you've given each of the reindeer their own personalities. Give me a, give me a couple examples. Well, the girls like Dancer. She's their favorite. She loves pink, fresh baked cookies. She's very friendly. The boys love Donner. He's the sports star, the jock. He likes pizza and the color blue. But everyone seems to love Comet. Comet's the fastest reindeer of all. He loves French fries. His favorite color is yellow. The kids really love him. How long did it take you to come up with that? I mean, that, you, you went through some character development on this. Yes, well, while I was writing it, I had different images of the reindeer in my mind. I had their personalities. So when I contacted the artist and he was sending me the same brain, brown reindeer over and over again, then I was like, John, bring your sketchbook, let's get together. And so we really, as I described them, then he drew them. Now, it is illustrated just beautifully. Uh, talk about the artist and how you found the artist. 
Well, I put an all call out on Craigslist and I got an overwhelming response. I got almost 50 responses. And my daughter, my husband and I independently looked through all the responses and then we came together, who was your favorite? And all of us unanimously picked John Carraher. And he's a fantasy artist in Camp Hill, Pennsylvania. It took him over a year to do all of the artwork. He oil painted all of the illustrations. You know, you have to get on. By the way, can you get uh, can you get Rudolph? No. As one of the you, uh, you, Rudolph has his own marketing department. He's got his own song, his own movie. These guys have been bored and ignored all this time. Oh, he's a star. He is a star. Yes. <laughs> so these are like the pips. <laughs> Let's give them a little credit. They pull the sleigh, they do a lot of the work. You know, you can, uh, you should go on Shark Tank. I've heard that, yeah. Because you, sh you, can, you can market each one of these reindeer as well. I'm sure that, that costs some money, but you can, uh, if, if this takes off, which I think it is taking off already, and it's going to take off even more, there's more merchandising you can do, although I do like the idea that you give away so much for free. Well, thank you. So. Congratulations and Thank good you. luck with this. It is the Reindeer Gift, that's the name of the book, but more importantly, it is a Christmas tradition. And thank you, Elizabeth Paso, who is the author of The Reindeer Gift, for doing this. Anything you can do to stop that creepy elf <laughs> from sneaking into people's houses, replace it with this tradition. Thanks again. Nice Thank to meet you. you. We'll be back.